Hi everybody, in this tutorial today we will work on JavaScript array. So without talking so much, let's go on our Visual Studio code to learn JavaScript array. Okay, let me erase all my previous lesson. So I am writing our today's topic is JavaScript Java okay, array. Our today's topic is array. So what is array? Array is a collection of same type, same data type variable okay so same type variable that means whenever you need uh, suppose you want to store names of your friend you have to define look you have to define uh, name one name one is equal to fahim this is one of your friend's name and then again uh, you have to write bar name to okay is equal to uh, abul etc etc and again so this is a tedious process a long process okay whenever you need uh, a lot of same type variables then you have to use array it's a easy and comfortable and preferable process so how we can define array or how we can use array today we will see and we will traverse using for loop in array okay so we can define a array very simply okay suppose this is my array names and if we want to store element in my uh, names array my friend's name then i can write here simply like this and using comma Abul, comma, Jabul, okay, as as many as you want, okay. This is this is quite easy than the before I have written there. So this is array. So how we can iterate this element, okay? Okay, let me check how we, uh, we can print this element. How we can get access this element, okay? I can get access this element easily by writing the uh, array name and in between the third bracket I have to write the index and this is easy. What does mean this zero? Zero means the first element of my names array and one means the second element. Let me write this, let me save this and uh, let me run this code as if you, you know. Uh, in my series, I have integrated this index.js file in my index.html. Then, if I run it with my live server extension, and obviously, I will file, find the name of first uh, index name. I think you got this. This is the zeroth element of my array. And if I want to print the first element of my array, and after saving this, I will automatically get the next element or second element of my array okay this is how we can way we can define a, a array and we can get access this element there are multiple ways to define a array suppose if i make this line comment and suppose um, if i would like to bar names then this name I have to write here names is equal to new and array okay this is my array and this name is name and then I can put value in my names n a names in the first element uh, in the first element is equal to whatever I, I want if I want want to put some integer here I could write the put integer and uh, again after copying this control c if i want to control v control v okay and the first element is three and the uh five okay and the third element as well is five okay this is how we can in a, uh, we can define our array and we can put value in our array and again if i access this one element of my array after saving this obviously automatically i will find three because why my one index element is three okay 
and then I can also traverse my um, array. How? Using a for loop for bar okay for x. I have to define this x first. X is a variable. X of names okay x of names and then automatically it will print all the names uh, as i have only one state then i don't have to use this curly braces actually i don't have to use this curly braces okay then let's see what happened i hope i i need to get all the element of my array okay but i am getting just one if I put her X, I think that okay. If I just put her X, then it should print all the element of my name. Control set. Let's check undefined because my X is going 0, 1, 2, 3 in an increasing order, but my indexing here is not in indexing. Uh, increasing order now let's check what happened it's working well but i don't have any bracket i can use the bracket here also x plus br okay then save this and i will have the element one by one one below one okay i hope you can iterate this array element easily and i can use while loop or for loop or whatever loop i want i can use these loops to iterate this element array makes our uh, program easy and we can store and we can traverse easily our same type data or same type element okay and the another next thing is if i want to a push element i have to write this just only name names dot push what the first uh, um, thing T A C T A. Okay, and then let's see what happened. If I save this, it will automatically push uh, the element in the last of my array. Okay, and I can pop also this last element names dot pop. Okay, pop. And it will automatically pop the last element of my then save this this uh, yeah, as you can see the last element has been popped so there are lots of uh, built-in function a uh, built-in uh, uh, library function or built-in library uh, function to, uh, we can imp we can implement with array suppose I have another array and uh, this is called uh, first okay if I are a first and then if I want to concat with names then I I had to just write here concat or you can see the methods I can use here okay concat first if I are sorry if I are st first this is okay it will automatically concat to my Okay, thank you all for today. We will uh, see some new features in the next tutorial.